And that is indeed General Stewart's real uniform. Warships, bomber planes, World War II uniforms, it's like traveling back in time. We're really excited because for the past four years, we've been developing a military museum for Lethbridge and area. Lethbridge's newest museum is located at the Vimy Ridge Armory right beside the Lethbridge Airport. And now we're on the verge of opening this Lethbridge Military Museum to the public. Uh, starting on Saturday the 18th of April. Once it's open, the public will be able to walk through on a self-guided tour of the 1,500 square foot space. We have 100 years of military, over 100 years of military history in this community, and most people really aren't aware of uh, those activities over the past 100 years. So this is a chance to bring it alive and make our citizens uh, more aware the museum highlights the battles that Lethbridge military personnel fought in during World War I and II, the Korean War, and more recently, peacekeeping efforts in the Middle East. We have been impacted here in Lethbridge by all three elements of the military, so Army, Navy, and uh, Air Force. The museum was put together by volunteers and hundreds of man hours went into it. Everything has been done by our volunteers, even including the painting of uh, this museum, the fixing of the floor, all of that. So the volunteers have came forward and put in many, many hundreds of hours. Phase one of the museum cost about $125,000 to put together, funds coming in the form of donations and local and provincial grants. But phase two is just around the corner. And that is going to be a, a six feet high by 10 feet wide mural that will be placed on the wall of our orientation area and it will include 60 one foot by one foot portraits and uh, Lethbridge military related scenes. It will take about a year for the mural to be unveiled. In addition, phase two will include a more computer generated interactive experience. And when you press on that image, the portrait will be shown it's taken four years to collect hundreds of authentic articles, many of them brought in by family members of veterans. That was just donated a week ago to us. This model of a hurricane aircraft was actually built by a vet and was donated by his wife after his death. No doubt as we move into the future, there will be other people out there that have items that they believe uh, could perhaps enhance our, our museum, so we'd love to, to hear about them. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Jeanette Roche.